Hello and welcome to Wednesday, the day of Wednes. It is currently 8 o'clock in the morning and we are in my car. I need to go to my grandmother's house to drop off some things and pick some things up. So, uh, let's go do that. I'll be back here, well, at home, after. See you then. Okay, we're back at home. It's, uh, 11.20 in the morning. So, uh, we left home, what was it, right about 8? I think it was right about 8 something. Well, we got there like right about 9. Maybe I've... No. Yes? Yes, because we spent half an hour there. And I left around 9.30. So, uh, one of the things that my mom wanted me to drop off was a passion fruit. Uh, she saw these at the store the other day. And uh, I had asked about them previously. And on a... Like, you know, she's just doing regular groceries. Went to a store... Um, not one of the ones that we usually go to, one that's, you know, a bit, you know, it's close by, but it's just like, you know, maybe, uh, other direction, that's the word, it's in the other direction, so we don't go there too often, but, uh, she was nearby, and, uh, she went to the store, she was, like, looking for pomegranate, and next to it, she saw a passion fruit, uh, she didn't see the price, she saw the price was four dollars, so she's like, oh, maybe it's like four dollars a pound or something like that, nope, it's four dollars for fruit. This fruit right here costs $4, uh, but because she didn't see how much it was for $4, she got 10 of them. So she spent $40 on passion fruit. With that said, passion fruit is great. It's very sour, and I cut this one open already. Like, you're not, you probably cut it in half and, like, eat it like that, but, you know, that's a bit messy. And, uh, you can just take a spoon, uh, well, cut it open, take a spoon, and just scoop it like that, and... Passion fruit is very tart, but it, it's so, so good. It's an addictive flavor. And, like, when you have it, like, sweetened with other things, it's amazing. It's, it's like, one of my favorite things. Um, like, when I first had it, um, I, was, I was some, like, tropical Caribbean island or whatever. And it's just, like, I didn't really like it at the time because it was sour. But now it's just, like... Like, it's the right kind of sour. And it is so good. I love it so much. Um, I have, like, passion fruit syrup that I bought online for, like, um, making mixed drinks and whatever. And um, that's really good. It's like, I would use that for something. I'm like, like, eh. Delicious. It's so hard to find this stuff, and it's like... You, you would, like, not... Like, having this with yogurt is so good. Mm. One, of, one of the, like, the... More uncommon tropical fruits that I love. Like, everybody loves mangoes. We, um... Mangoes you can get nearly all year round. But, um... Having something like passion fruit, which you can only get very seasonally, and, like, nowhere stocks it, like, oh, it's so, so good. And uh, I'm, I love it. <laughs> we only have like a, I think one or two more in the fridge. So I'm um, going to probably finish that tomorrow if anything. But yeah, these, these are good. Is it $4 good? No, but um, $2 good? I think so. That said, you, you would need to find a place that sells it regularly. And, um, again, it's hyper-seasonal, I feel like. not Maybe not hyper-seasonal, but very seasonal. So, uh, good luck finding it. But if you do, and you like a little tart fruit, you can't go wrong. Um, yeah, Grandma's is fine. Um, just picked up some papers, um... A lot of important documents dropped off some minor things like a passion fruit and um i think my mom gave her like some cleaning supplies or whatever and there, there, there might have been something else uh but everything's set over there um we're all good and um yeah that frees up my day i think i don't really have anything else too busy planned um we'll see what exactly i get up to and, um, well, I do want to hit the elliptical, so I might do that. 
I've got a couple things in mind, but uh, gonna take it easy for us today. I know tomorrow we gotta do car stuff, and then Friday might be doing some cooking in the evening. Haven't heard anything from work, so you know. But uh, it is what it is. We'll take it as it comes and see where we end up. Catch in a bit. Okay, it's uh, about 1.30. We didn't do any elliptical stuff or have any workout stuff today, but uh, that's fine because honestly, after like such a long morning, I figure, you know, uh, not really too in the mood. I Maybe I should have, but that's in the past. Um, but I wanted to do some cleaning in this room because... This corner specifically that I'm in has been a mess for a while. Um, I had like a bunch of boxes with ring supplies about this size. And um, yeah, there was like maybe 10 or 12 of them uh, that size. There were a couple about um, that has information on it about this size. Um, yeah, so we just had a bunch of boxes like those just sitting in this corner, but we cleaned it up. So we're all good there. Uh, I still have like quite a few rings that I want to make one of these days. So uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. But I have like a stack of vinyl records that uh, should not be stored like this. And I need to do something about it because uh, that's that's not great for them. And uh, well, we need to uh, fix that. And I'm getting a phone call, I think, or something's happening. Um, yeah, this needs to be taken care of because uh, there's a few hundred thousand dollar worth of records here. Uh, this, yeah, this is probably like over a thousand. <laughs> mm, now that I realize that I really need to do something about it. <sighs> this is not even the worst of it. The worst of it is slightly... Actually, if I... Did I lock this? I don't think I did. Um, maybe I did. Uh, did I? That's this one. And this one. Okay, let's, let's bring this camera up a tiny bit. Tiny bit more. Does that work? Here. Hopefully that's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can see right here. Uh, this is, this is not ideal. There's more over there. Not ideal. Um, don't do that. <laughs> d d uh, don't, don't do that. I'll, uh, there's so many, I don't have space for it. I'll figure something out, but, you know, we're doing a little bit of cleaning, and uh, I need to get more shelving and whatnot for this. At least we all have, um, I think it's a very large shrimp friend over here. Um, yes, very large shrimp friend to uh to calm us okay <laughs> i'll figure something out to do with that but hey this mess of cardboard boxes that was here um for a long time has now been addressed <sighs> slowly but surely we're making progress and uh still some more cleaning to do so we'll get to that when we get to that which is gonna be as soon as I turn this camera off. Um, after quite a few hours, I actually cleaned up the uh, shelving here. Um, the records are looking okay, and I just, I literally locked this in place so I didn't, it wouldn't turn, but now, um, all the records are sorted. Um, well, sorted. These ones are mostly alphabetical. Um, I think they're I think they're pretty much entirely um some are slightly out of place it's mostly game soundtracks or movie soundtracks and um with the occasional um big box record fit in like um this is run the jewels which is not an OST that's uh RTJ4 and then um I think this one is for Lowe's matter of perspective and I think the only reason that's on the edge I had it initially is because it's a box set and I didn't want a single record, which would be Coffee Talk, um, pressed up against it. But I think everything, pretty much everything else should be a um, OST. 
We also used to have uh, these um, Porter Robinson's Nurture as well as San Holo's uh, BBU OK. Uh, also in that mix, but um, it's been moved for there temporarily at least. Um, I have a couple of 10 and 7 inch records that I don't properly have sleeves for, but that's okay because I just ordered some. Um, so that's going to be sleeved up. Uh, I broke into my, I think it's my third pack of 100 uh, sleeves, so that's good to know that I need, uh, that I'm at over 200 in individual records. Um, so that's pretty much organized. If we lower the camera down a little bit, I'm not so sure how low we can go. Well, it's as, as low as the tripod will go. Um, you can see these are mostly organized. Um, they're more plushies, a little bit down lower. If I move this out of the way. Uh, you can see these records here. Actually, you know what? Let's try lowering this tiny bit. Uh, there we go. And let's hope that the camera doesn't fall. And then we tighten this. And then we do the, oh, yep. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, let me do that. So uh, these are alphabetical. And then we have the bulk of the ones that I have many duplicates of. Um, all of my individual Fall Out Boy records are there. I do have two box sets. One is right here. And the other one is up there on the shelf where you always see it where I record. Um, so that's cool. Um, all of my pup records, uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's that shelf specifically. Um, you've seen all those, and then you s we'll get to the ones pop that over there one of these days. But um, yeah, happy with this. Um, the record shelf is finally organized, <laughs> and. Uh, I'm glad I decided to do that on a whim. There's some minor things that were on the shelf that um, need to be moved around. Like um, I had a cup of markers and a cup of pens. Um, those need to be moved and uh, we'll see. This needs to be fine at home. But we'll see where this goes and um, yeah, I'm glad I did it. Uh, yeah, I, there's still some more cleaning that needs to be done, but this is a huge, huge thing that I got done today, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, this has been in disarray for months, and, well, no longer. So, uh, we'll see where that goes in the future. Hopefully I can maintain it um, at the rate of buying records. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I might need to make some more space in rather quickly hopefully uh we'll figure something out um but at this point well it's up for debate for now however that's where i'm gonna call it for today thank you all for watching i hope to see you tomorrow and until then later